Hey, this is Matt Barlow. I'm a sound artist in Asheville, North Carolina, and I was just recently asked by somebody on Twitter how to use Ableton Live, um, how to sample sound in Ableton Live. And I use Ableton Live extensively to create new synth patches and create new instruments using sound samples that I've recorded around town or at my home. So basically, I just input field recordings and then using simpler um, and a variety of effects, I create an entirely new synth patch from that, which then I'm able to perform with and record with. So today I'm going to use as an example a recent synth patch that I built um, and I've used for an upcoming release. And I hope that this tutorial will inspire you uh, to go and explore sound, which is what I love to do. So let's get started. So I've got an audio track where I loaded my original sample, which is right here. And this is one I recorded at a grocery store here in town. Let's just listen to a little bit of that. So, kind of your typical grocery store sounds there. Go ahead and stop that. Okay. So what you're going to do is open up a MIDI track. Go up to your instruments to Simpler. I just hit Return. I just hit return to get your simpler activated. Now you simply simply take your field recording and drag and drop that right into the simpler. Okay. And now using your your uh, laptop keyboard or if you have a regular MIDI keyboard, you can actually play this. And I'm using a keyboard. So depending on where you what key you hit up or down you'll get kind of different pitch. So the first thing I do is I'm going to want to create a loop. So hit this loop here. And you take these two indicators here. And it's just about kind of going through your sample and finding a section that you'd like to to work with and build off of. And you can also zoom in. And I tend to do really small slices of the sample, micro sampling if you will. And I'm going to also do a snap and maybe a little bit of a fade. So see that. And we can zoom in even further. Let's, let's really bring these in here. And by um, the start indicator here, by moving that up, you can you can uh, zoom in further on your loop. Okay. Uh, you can also mess with the filter on this, which is, I tend to do that a lot too. Go down a little lower on the keyboard. 
And I also tend to really bring in an attack to create a nice pad sound. And you can also mess with transposition quite a bit, which I do. So I'll move this down a little bit. It's all about just playing with different uh, sounds, uh, trying new things, and see what you like. Again, I'm just messing with this start. Okay, so that's a little tone, and that's just a micro micro sample of that. All right, so let's add some effects. What I always go to is reverb, and you want to check your quality and move that to high. Maybe do a low cut. Mess with that. Just shave that off a little bit. You can chorus on or off. I usually turn that off. Decay time. Now this is what you want to just really pull that up and make that pretty wet. Well, let's see how it sounds now. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And again, I'm just performing this on my keyboard on the laptop. Alright, then what I do is add some ping pong delay and I'll put that between simpler and the reverb. Let me move that down a little bit there. Let's see. I'm going to add the attack, bring that up a little bit. I release a little longer. Let's see how this sounds. Weaver more wet. Now the sound is a little low, so you can either bring up the volume right here or just drop in a utility and just bring up your gain. Again, we can mess with our the start of our loop, and let's see how that sounds. Not quite as musical, but it's got some nice texture. over to your spread and that'll spread that out stereo. And you can just move this around, find some different points. And you get to record all of this live and as you just kind of improvise going back and forth with your loop settings and on your keyboard. Okay, so that's that's how you can build a, your own sound uh, and that's what I do all the time for my recordings. So I'm going to bounce over to 
the completed synth that I used for an upcoming release um, using the same sample that I took from a grocery store and uh, this is just a slightly different different sound but I'll show that to you so it's the same sample over here and I added an erosion effect and the ping pong and the reverb pretty much like we had in our previous sample uh, so this is how that sounds with some of this erosion. And I like this one, you can go lower and get a nice warm pad. So yeah, and what I did for the release, uh, for the recording of it anyways, I dropped in a looper on, the, on this track and set that up for just about 70% feedback and pretty much just hit record and just looped me performing on using this, this synth patch. Now a trick for you, if you if you want to do this with the looper, you're going to need to send the audio of this track out to another track if you want to record the entire performance. Be sure you do that. Um, if you just record to the looper and after, say, you perform for 10 minutes, after you're all done, you're only going to have the 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 final layer on your looper here, uh, you're not going to have the progression from start to finish, if you follow me. Uh, so I'll start up, insert another audio track, and then with this one, you just go to your audio 2, and I'm going to select that to go to audio 5. And then in record enable that, and if you don't know, to record enable multiple instruments at the same time on your Mac you're just gonna press and hold the command button while you select your different tracks or unselect them if you want okay so now the audio from this synth patch is being routed over here to this audio and so I'll be able to record here my entire performance over here on this track. So we just start here. It's going and over here I'm going to hit record on this. So now that's looping. Okay, so we'll stop that, and we'll stop this recording, and there we go. Now we should be able to, now we should be able to hear that back. It's going, and over here I'm going to hit record on this, oh, there So that's just playing back exactly what we just recorded using that looper. So now that's looping.
Uh-huh. Hear me talking back there. Yeah. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful. Yeah, I have a lot of fun exploring sound, creating new sounds with just uh, using the simpler that's part of Ableton Live and some imagination, really. So yeah, if, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Matt C. Barlow. And I encourage you to go check out my releases, matthewbarlow.bandcamp.com. All right, thank you so much. Take care.